This call is being recorded. Well, good morning to the Breakthrough Uplift Leadership Call. Uplift. It's all about uplifting yourselves, uplifting each other, and then together uplifting the world. Well, again, my friend, this is Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough. I'm going to read our Daily Attitude Adjuster, the Breakthrough Daily Attitude Adjuster. Uh, when I spoke for Zig many years ago, he said, it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that determines your altitude. And so this is something I use daily to get myself fired up. Matter of fact, with Dr. Willie Jolly, he had me on his radio show yesterday. He said, Doc, you got to, ever since I heard that Daily Attitude Adjuster, I uh, had you send it to me. I had my staff do it every day. He said, man, you got to do that. And so here we go. Wow, what a great day to be alive. I feel dynamite. I like me. I accept me. I love me. I'm going to have a super fantastic day today because I'm too blessed to be depressed, too blessed to be stressed, too glad to be sad, too anointed to be disappointed, too elated to be agitated, too grounded to be confounded, too legit to quit, too grateful to be hateful, too gifted to be restricted, and too saved not to be getting paid. Circumstances are aligning themselves in my favor. I am healthy, physically fit, and intellectually equipped. I have wisdom far beyond my years. I'm an extraordinary person with incredible abilities, which I would use to add value to others' lives. Knowing that as I empower others to reach their dreams, I will automatically reach my own. I anticipate meeting the person or group of people today who are willing to use their power, wealth, and influence to empower me to achieve my dreams. All day long, people will go out of their way to bless me. Today, I will add great value to someone's life. I will show compassion to those in need. I will give strength to the weak and inspiration to the weary. Someone needs what I have to offer, and I gladly make myself available. I embrace abundance, and it embraces me. I am abundant in every good way. I am an abundance magnet. I like money. It likes me. It is attracted to me, and it comes abundantly from many sources. I circulate God's money wisely because it's a tool to empower those in need. It's also a way of keeping score of how many people's lives I added value to. Money flows freely and frequently from expected and unexpected sources in exchange for the value that I consistently bring to the marketplace. I may have been broke, busted, and disgusted, but now I declare that I am rich, growing, and overflowing. My business is booming and checks are zooming. I'm happy on purpose. I'm experiencing great victories, supernatural turnarounds, and miraculous breakthroughs in the midst of great impossibilities. I am an overcomer, and if my mountain can be removed, I'll develop and practice my mountain climbing skills. I may experience a setback, but setbacks are only set us for comebacks. Setbacks pave the way for comebacks. I'll make lemonade out of life's lemons, and if life dares to knock me down, I'll fall on my back realizing that by the grace of God, as long as I can look up, I can get up. I commit to paying for my dreams with preparation and perspiration so that I won't have to live with my nightmares of regret. I do not procrastinate because procrastination leads to devastation. It is the assassination of my destination. Thus, I will act now. I'm a doer. I get results that last. I now release the champion that is inside of me. I am the leader that multitudes of people are looking for. I choose to succeed today and every day hereafter. Watch out, world, here I come. And like I like to say, watch out, world, here we come. So let's just take a deep breath in your nose, uh, symbolizing you're receiving, breathing this in, breathing with me. Ready? And let it out. All righty. Well, I'm super excited today. Why? Well, it's a great day to be alive. And like Les says every day, Les Brown says, every day above ground is a good day. <laughs> but guess what, my friend? I like to say, and I like to turn every day into a breakthrough day. Well, we've got a, a speaker today, our very, very first crown ambassador on the Breakthrough Bible Dream Team. When I established this, by the way, my goal was to produce an ambassador 
every week, a global every month, and a crown every quarter. And not only have we done that, we're far ahead of schedule, uh, but the very, very first, you know, like Roger Bannister is the first one to break that four-minute mile. The very, very first one on this team was as our crown ambassador is going to be speaking, Mr. Les Carter, a minister of the gospel, incredible gentleman. By the way, uh, if you saw my announcement, congratulations to Gloria Gillum. Gloria Gillum is now the second crown ambassador on the Breakthrough Bible Dream team out of 2,600 people. Uh, Les Carter and Gloria Gillum have that distinction. Those are the only two thus far. Oh, but trust me, going to be a whole lot more, right? But 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 they uh, Les has a special distinction of being the first, and Gloria has the distinction of being the second, but actually the first woman. Hello, somebody. So here we go. So we're going to give her her props. <laughs> but anyway, Les Carter again is just incredible. As a matter of fact, he's been doing such an incredible job on getting people on these cookie cutter calls. I mean, there's never been a company with a CEO uh, that does four live calls Monday through Friday to support the team. And uh, there's never been a company that I know of that has a chief breakthrough trainer that actually has broken the company records and leads the way in every area. Um, and so my friend, uh, if you look on the scoreboard, you'll see me there at number one and the people that are tied for two, uh, second place what I have done is, uh, uh, outdoes all of them. But to, And, again, it's not about outdoing someone. What it is, it's about being an example, being a role model. Somebody said if you if you can do and if you can't teach, well, that's not right to me. If you can do it and if you can't, don't teach. You ain't got nothing to teach. <laughs> Les Carter has something to teach. He's been getting people. Not only did he get his quick start package, but he's quick start qualified. He's gotten at least two uh, to get theirs. But he's been getting, I think, one night he had up to four people on the line. So I asked him to teach that. So, uh, Mr. Les Carter, our crown ambassador, very first one, come to the front of the room, my friend, and give an accurate description. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, count. sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, thanks for the opportunity uh, to talk with the leaders uh, this morning. Uh, I'm so humble uh, to do so. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, I want to uh, set a context for what I think is something that we don't understand. Uh, it's called what's in your hand. I want to I want to go to a, a biblical reference, uh, if you will, uh, why I'm a preacher, and that's that's why I resort to when I want to learn what's true. Uh, Exodus four. Beginning with verse 1. Listen to this. And as you listen to this, I want you to see if there's any correlation with what was happening with Moses when God told him to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go and what's happening to us in Shark Fremont when we have a visionary uh, leader like John Austin and a person that leads by example like Dr. Stan Harris. Listen to this. Then Moses answered and said, but suppose they will not believe me or listen to my voice. It sounds like, you know, some people have said, you know, they didn't want to do any more business like this because they don't have any credibility. They, people are not going to believe them because they've done this before and it didn't work. Uh, sounds, sounds kind of similar, doesn't it? Suppose they say the Lord has not appeared to you. So the Lord said to him, what? Listen carefully. Is that in your hand? What is that in your hand? He said, a rock. And he said, cast it on the ground. So he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from it. Then the Lord said to Moses, how many of us are fleeing from the four calls that John Austin is doing each evening, Monday through Friday, for a limited point in time? Then the Lord said uh, to cast it to the ground. So he cast it to the ground, and it became a serpent, and Moses fled from it. Then the Lord said to Moses, reach out your hand and take it by the tail. And he reached out his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand, that they may believe, John also talks a lot about faith, that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, 
has appeared to you. Furthermore, the Lord said to him, now put your hand in your bosom. Some of us need more than one miracle to believe. And he put his hand in his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous, like snow. And he said, put your hand in your bosom again. So he put his hand in his bosom again and drew it out of his bosom, and behold, it was restored like the other, like his other flesh. Then it will be that if you do not, if they do not believe you, nor heed the message of the first sign, that they may believe the message of the latter sign. And it shall be, if they do not believe even these two signs, or listen to your voice, that you shall take water from the river and pour it out on dry land. The water which you take from the river will become blood on the dry land. Then Moses said to the Lord, Oh, my Lord, I am not eloquent. I don't know how to approach people. I don't know what to say. Neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. So the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? And who makes the mute, the deaf, the sin, or the blind? Have not I, the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall say. But he said, Oh Lord, please send Dr. Stan Harris. Please send John Austin. Come on, please send the landing pages. Please send all the training that you can imagine. Please send a free breakthroughpresentation.com. Please send 24-7 recorded messages. Please send the hand of whoever else you may send. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. He said, is not Aaron the Levite your brother? Don't you have all the tools? You don't need to be the messenger. Message. Just be the messenger. Of course, you know I'm ad living a little bit here. I know that he can speak well. I know that Dr. Stan Harris is eloquent in speech. He leads by example. He, he, he is a crown for. And then John Austin has built an organization prior to starting Shop Fremont of three million people. And in a nine-week period, with a cookie-cutter call that few of us are getting on, built an organization that earned him $100,000 in nine weeks. And you still won't get on the call. Uh oh. The Lord Uh-oh. was angry. Come on now. He said, Look, he is also coming out to meet you. When he sees you, he will be glad. And Dr. Stan Harris is coming out to meet you. John Austin is coming out to meet you. And when he sees you, he's going to be glad. He's going to come out of corporate, out of his corporate seat and get in a presentation mode. And five, four times, Monday through Friday, he is going to present what he has done. Not what he wants you to do, but what he has done. And he's not going to ask you to make $100,000 in nine weeks. Make $12,599 in, in nine weeks. Then your faith may increase. Take the next nine weeks. And knock it out the park. Make a hundred thousand dollars or more in the next nine weeks. I, I just wanted to set that up in context because the difference between winners and losers, winners understand what they have in their hand. Do you Ooh, understand wait, what you have in your wait, hand? Wait. Say, say that one more time. I apologize. The difference between winners and losers is winners understand what they have in their hand. Mm. Do you understand? Do we understand what we have in our hand? Let's take a look at the industry. Let's look, take a look at the industry. I'm going to read some to you. It may sound strange, but I'm going to surprise you to let you know where all of us have access to what I'm going to share right now. We live in a world where scientists believe they are smarter than God. Most of the food that is grown 
today is from genetically modified seed and is, is grown inorganically using chemicals, fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. Meat, dairy, products, and eggs are full of hormones and vaccine, vaccines. In fact, there are very few foods today that are fit for human consumption. This is evidenced by the fact that four, listen carefully, out of five people have symptoms of pain, disease, or some form of are on some form of medication. Sixty percent of the population is more moderately to grossly overweight. Cancer, diabetes, and heart disease are out of control, and most people are still unaware that disease is not caused by a drug deficiency. All diseases have an underlying mineral deficiency, and if you want to be healthy, you must start looking outside your diet for, for vital nutrients that are essential to maintain good health. Because even organically grown foods are grown in soil that have long been depleted of most of the minerals. Do you understand what's in your head? I just read to you from one of the links called uh, Health Enthusiasts. All of us have this in our hand. How many times have you shared this link with anybody? What? I'm talking about what's in your hand. You know, we have, we have, we have greatness uh, within us. And then we have a visionary leader who not just a visionary, but he has a strategic plan that he has already proven works. Okay? And 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 he has developed some products to address this. Would you say that what I just read to you indicates that we're still listen carefully, we are still in Egyptian bondage. Write that down. We are still in Egyptian bondage. But now, here comes Shop Free Martin, John Austin, a visionary leader, and he's brought products that are either organically grown or wild crafted without chemicals. Products that are free from harmful chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, etc. Products that are pure and highly concentrated. Products that give the fastest possible results. Quality will never be sacrificed or reduced to reduce cost or increase profit. No trickery, no deception, just wholesome goodness. Shop Remark is bringing honor to business. Shop Remark is doing business, listen carefully, by the book. Business by the book. What's in your hand? I want to shift gears and talk to you about a formula that I use to get people on the call. It's called two a day, five in place. Write that down. Two a day, five in place. Now, I'm going to assume because we're on, we're, on, we're on a leadership call that all of you have a prospect list. You say, oh, no, I don't. Yes, you do. If you listen on your smartphone, you, you, every person in your smartphone is a prospect. Why do I know that? Every person in your phone drinks water. Four out of five of them have multiple health challenges. Seven out of ten of them are living from paycheck to paycheck. So John Austin has come out graciously, generously, and I think providentially, to come on the four calls Monday through Friday. So I want you to do this. If you're a leader, I want you to do this. I want you to set up some shop free mart store hours. See, a lot of times working from home, we don't really look at business seriously. You know, if you have a retail store, when you have some store hours, how would people know when you're in business? You would need to have some store hours. I would recommend that your store hours for this limited period of time while John Austin is coming, and doing these four calls Monday through Friday, include those hours. So in my case, 7 p.m. Eastern time to 8.30 p.m. That's an hour and a half, okay? I suggest that you take 30 minutes per 
prior to this these calls to get your mind set properly. Go and listen to the movie in your back office where John Austin cast this his vision for what he sees that God has placed in his heart that he needs to do and how he needs to do it. In other words, you need to, before you talk to somebody, you need to make sure that your mind has been transformed. Do whatever you need to do. You know, if it's reading scripture, meditating, because I don't think we understand what's in our hands. Go, I, I tell you what would be good to do, go and to the to the 21-day breakthrough challenge and pick your favorite day and review it. In other words, you need to prepare yourself for greatness. Prepare yourself for setting your posture proper. And then I would suggest, with that list in front of you, or with your cell phone in your hand, starting uh, minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes before the call, did you not know that on these smartphones, you can three-way up to five or more people at one time? I'm talking about what's in your hand. If you was to leave your house and start going somewhere and discover that you left your cell phone, your smartphone at home, you know what you would do? Same thing I would do. Turn around and go back, even if it made me late for the appointment that I was headed to. What's in your hand? What's in your hand? Your, your list is in your hand? Your two? I'm sure you have invited people to some of these calls and they didn't show up. How many... Have you three ways into the call and they didn't show up? If you three way them in, they will probably show up about the same time that you do. <laughs> Come on now. And then you know that they was on a call. Now, Dr. Sam Harris has taught us something very profound. I took I took a note. He said that most of your sales don't 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 get angry at that bird. It's gonna happen between your 7th and 12th follow-up. So you got them on the call. You got five people on the call. Now, I'm saying five, but the goal is to at least get two calls, two people on these calls every night, Monday through Friday. Okay, so that's two, five days a week. That's 10 people, 40 people. That's 10 people. Let me ask you this question. Out of 10, with proper follow-up, do you think you can get two a week? The answer is yes. But the question is, will you get two? Is it possible that everybody on this call can get two people every night, Monday through Friday, get four opportunities, okay? You call someone up and say, hey, Dr. Harris, I know we haven't talked in a while, but man, I have something that is revolutionizing. It's disruptive in the home-based business industry. It's being taught by a man that builds an organization before he started his own company of 3 million people and in a nine-week period earned $100,000 and he's going to be sharing his secret. It's really not a secret. It's cookie-cutter system to us tonight. I just want you to listen in. Do you have 20 minutes to do that? Either at 7 or 7.30. I don't give people all four of the options. I just give them two options. What do you have to, listen to this, listen to this statement. What do you have to cancel to be on the call with me at 7 p.m. tonight? Now, what did I just say? This is very important, even if you have scheduled to watch the football game tonight. <laughs> Come on and listen to something that can change your life. Change the the, the generational curse that's on your family, on your marriage. You know, here's what I've learned. Beautiful women don't like to be with broke men for an extended period of time. <laughs> Let me say that again. I'm telling you, beautiful women don't like to be with broke men for an extended period of time. I mean, if you want to be unsafe, I mean, you got to bring something to the table. Am I right about it? Am I right about it? you got two choices. All You're I'm right. saying is right. this is easy to do. Now, Jim Rohn said, 
It's easy to do, and it's easy not to do. Now, we're leaders on this call. I encourage everybody tonight, this is Tuesday, October the 22nd. Don't put it off for next week. Get at least, set a goal to get at least two people tonight and every night this week on the calls that John Austin and Dr. Stan Harris is doing, like whoever introduces him, a lot of times it's Lily Plum. These are dynamite performers. These are people that have blazed the trail. I'm talking about do you, re do you recognize what you have in your hand? Do you recognize what you have in your hand? Apparently we don't. Because I believe Dr. Stan Harris said on one of the calls last night, some of the calls got 8, 12 people. There are over 70,000 members in Shot Free Market. What a disgrace. But let me tell you something. Flip that coin. It shows us what great opportunity that we have to demonstrate that we can walk by faith. Walk in the light. Walk in the spirit. Go places where no man has ever gone before. You say it's never happened before? Good. Let's do it. Let's do it because we got the power. Look now, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I'm gonna conclude. I could talk all night. Let me let me tell you where your power comes from. If you are a child of God, number one, write this down. I'm gonna give you seven things, and I'm gonna conclude. Seven things. God is for you. Yes. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Number two. Number two. Christ is with you. Uh, I'm an evangelist. And, and the Great Commission says, go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And then teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have taught you. And lo, this is Christ speaking, I will be with you always. So yes. that's the reason I know that Christ is with me. That's why so far this year, approaching 30 people I've sat down and talked the gospel with, because it's not me. How could you lose with Christ sitting with you? Come on. <laughs> Now, that's, that's number, that's number, that's number, that's number. Now, here's the other thing. If you're a child of God, according to Acts 2.38, when the, when, the, when the Jews on the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem was taught the gospel, they said they were pricked in their heart, and listen to this, and they said, men and brother, what shall we do? And, and, and Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, and you shall, for the remission of your sin, you shall receive, watch this, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is in you. That's why we should be enthusiastic. Come on. Because God dwells in us. Come on now. Mm. Don't be, some people are so negative, Dr. Stan Harris. If they were walking to a dark room, they would begin to develop. Don't get on the call, call nobody to ask them to do anything if that's who you are. <laughs> you remember what I said, dude, before you get on the call? You got to get your mind right. You, you can't Come on. Be, you can't be a, a conform to this world. The world wants you to be a consumer. They want you to buy. They want to control what you do. You need to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Whatever you do, not call anybody if your thinking is thinking. Just just go to sleep. Because <laughs> you know what you say. See, we are profit and property. It matters what we say. So get your mind right. So we got what we got so far. We got God for you, Christ with you, the Holy Spirit in you. And according to David in the 23rd Psalm, goodness, as for and mercy, is behind you. Well. And then the angel of the Lord encamps around you to protect you. And finally, you have the word. to stand and resist the adversary so he will flee. Personally, each day, I study a book out of Proverbs corresponding with the date of the month. So the day is October the 22nd. I will study the whole chapter, but I will pick one particular verse that the Holy Spirit leads me to and dive in on it, meditate on it, and share it with somebody else. Most times, more people don't because Wisdom is the key thing. Get wisdom. 
and all you'll get and get an understanding. So I seek, I have a thirst and a hunger for righteousness. But what good it is to have faith without any work. We have a tremendous opportunity to demonstrate that we can be do business by the book and be the best. Come are on. you ready for this challenge? Are you, are later on when when the limited time when John Austin is going to be doing these presentations, you're going to say one or two things. I'm glad I got two people a night on those calls. Or I wish I had. I'm telling you. Understand and appreciate and take advantage of what we have in our hands. Back to you, Dr. Stan Harris. I'm excited. I can go on all night long. I can preach like Paul at the midnight, but you wouldn't listen. Because <laughs> I'm not Paul, and you're not those preaching people he was preaching to at midnight. Just till midnight. Wow. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Excellent, excellent job. And by the way, just real quick, uh, just give that quick testimonial about the, when you took the 21-day challenge and, and, and the weight loss briefly. Um, and uh, I just, uh, Mr. Austin, when he heard that the other day, by the way, he, he he sent me an email. He said, man, that was one of the most excellent testimonials I've ever heard. Um, and I think somebody... Well, you know, I, talk say, about the I say the number one product in Shop Fremont is the 21-day breakthrough challenge. The manifestation of that is the second time that I went through the 21-day breakthrough challenge was May the 3rd. In conjunction with that, following Dr. Stan Harris' example, I fasted. I did what he calls a miracle fast, a liquid fast, okay? And from May the 3rd to May the 24th, I lost 28 pounds. Now, by that time, wow. I had also taken the 10-day uh, advance challenge, and I studied Daniel, and here's what I say. I got 28 pounds lighter and 10 times brighter. <laughs> I'm talking about wisdom, y'all. <laughs> Wow. I mean, all these things, you know, we had the contest. Who won the contest? I'm just saying. You did. I'm just using what we got. I understand what we have in our hand. I'm no greater than anybody else on this call. I'm just, I have a farming background, so I don't have no problem with hard work. Wow. Wow. Well, Mr. Crown Ambassador Carter, man, you, the Lord showed off through you, man. Uh, what an incredible, incredible presentation, so powerful and uh, so on point. And, uh, again, this, uh, you know, this man is walking his talk because, like I said, he won the contest, first one to make crown. And this is a guy who, when Ty Grayell first tried to introduce him, he, he said, I found some negative information online. Uh, my integrity says I can't have anything to do with that, right? And so Ty's like, wait a minute, but if you have integrity, do your own investigation. It's free. Log in and check around, and and from there I told uh, Les, you know, every man has an ego, and every man should have an ego. The problem though is when you allow your ego to have you. And Les, my respect went so much higher when he overcame his ego, because I would it would have been an ego match, and the average guy would have just bowed out. But he said, you know what, You're, okay, and so he did research, and then matter of fact, next thing I know, he was getting started with the company, took the challenge, and now the rest is history. So. His story is so powerful, folks. And uh, when you said about thinking right, matter of fact, we got a guest on the line who's going to be a speaker here, uh, Dr. Paul Chipman. That God set this whole thing up. Um, I'm reading his book now. As a matter of fact, um, he texted me the other day about writing a little endorsement, and he has no idea. I called Dr. Haywood Robinson, which again, Dr. Haywood Robinson, I call, uh, he's a, in my estimation, prince of preachers. I mean, this guy, you're talking about humble. You're talking about in the word. You're talking about, you're talking about a man um, of, of, of humility uh, that allows Christ to shine through him. And watch this. So he connected me with Dr. Uh, Paul Chipman, and, uh, and Dr. Chipman was kind enough to send me the book. Now listen to this, Les. Think right, live right, a 21-day plan to overcome negative thoughts. Oh, Lord Jesus. Wow. Forward by Dr. Tony Evans. And you all heard me reference this book a couple of times. Matter of fact, I'm going to, he just happened to jump on the call today. I'm going to unmute his line. We're going to have him come back and do some trainings, but he doesn't even know this. I'm going to, I'm seeking, remember I told y'all one and one, excuse me, one plus one, that's two, that's cooperation. I'm not looking for cooperation. One and one is 11, that's collaboration. I'm looking for collaborations. And so, Doc, I'm, I'm meeting your line here, but I'm actually 
I was going to talk to you about this. I'm going to talk to you about it publicly now in front of the crowd. <laughs> and that is, I think we need to do a cross collaboration where I can shoot another video of my 21 day challenge and tell them that they, everybody needs to get this book. And as they're watching my video each day, they should watch, read a uh, chapter in your book if it's day one and so forth. And I think you ought to do the same thing. The people in your book ought to get signed up with the 21 day challenge. So they're reading in the book and then they're watching a video Again, both of them 21 days, both of them really resetting people's mind. And I tell people without a breakthrough mentality, nothing on heaven or earth can help you. With a breakthrough mentality, nothing on earth can stop you. And Dr. Chipman, the one thing that really just I can't get away from is when he said 87% of illness can be attributed to your thought life. So, so anyway, Dr. Chipman, man, real quick, just say a quick word. We're going to bring you back, and I'm probably going to have you teach many times you can, but man, the floor is yours, man. Just say hi, and I'm sure you enjoyed that <laughs> message from Mr. Les Carter. Yeah, I certainly did. Can you hear me, Stan? Dr. Stan? Loud and clear. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Hey, well, I thank you for just the opportunity to be here and to talk on the phone. I was greatly encouraged by the uh, the speaker a moment ago, and I wrote down on the paper about the, his comment about people. He said some people are so negative that if they were to walk into a dark room, they would begin to develop. <laughs> <laughs> and and I thought to myself, I said, hey, that was me at one time. I was a sure enough negaholic. But but by God's grace and through the uh, the 21 day plan that you mentioned, um, that was the process that the Lord b led me out of darkness into His light and those principles in it. And it's amazing because I was listening to your 21 day plan the other day, and I and I was thinking the same thing. I said, man, He's doing the same thing I'm doing. He's just further down the road. But I said, man, that would be that would be a great idea that you had, but the 21-day plan is just simply the realization that 75% of our thoughts that we think are negative, counterproductive, and mm. work against us. And what the 21-day plan does, it, it shows, it's built on a, on a three-tier pillar. It's built on the Bible. It's then built on neuroscience, which is brain science, and then it's built on CPT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy or, or psychology in general. And why okay, that's wait, important wait, wait, is because wait, of the... I got, sorry, no, yes, wait, wait, wait. I got I to gotta interject some. The 21 day breakthrough yes. challenge is get, get check this out. It's strategically, scientifically, and scripturally designed. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> hey, well, that's what I said. We're doing the same thing, and and reason and reason that's important that threefold Bible, neuroscience, and 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 uh, CBT is because that man is a trichotomous being. He is spirit mm. that deals with with his Bible. He is soul. That deals with the psychology, spirit, soul, and body, and also then in physical, he's his body. So that deals with the brain. And so when you when you put those all three together and come up with a biblically sound, scientifically based program, then it 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 is effective because of the fact he's dealing with the whole entire man. And that's what wow. the twenty one day plan is about. Because many times in church we just talk about the spirit part of the man in Romans twelve two, renew your mind, but we're not dealing with the um now, some of the churches do deal with the soul, mind, will, and emotion, but very few deal with the whole body and how, how you can rewire your brain to overcome negative thoughts. And the other thing that I learned through my research, and that was this, Dr. Stan, and that is this, that negative thoughts cannot be eradicated. They have to be replaced. They have hmm. to be replaced. And, and we're wishing our negative thoughts would go away, but they're not going to go away. They have to be replaced with, with faith-filled, God-honoring thoughts. And that's what the book does. It shows you how to rewire your brain so that your default, instead of being negative, becomes positive. But you've got to put the information in. If you put the information in, you'll get the, the proper information out. And that's what the book is all about. And, it, and it's extremely successful in doing it. And I walk me through it. That's what God, this was a lifeline that God threw to me to get to get out of the pit. I was in a pit ready to quit, but I oftentimes say, don't quit in the pit. And by God's <laughs> grace, I didn't. And, he, and then he told me to put down the concepts that I walk you through into a book so that it can help others who are in the pit thinking about and wanting to quit. But he also let me know, mm -hmm. listen, there are no hopeless situations. There are just people who have grown hopeless hopeless in the situation. And the 21-day wow. plan is, is a lifeline. It's hope. It's an insulation of hope to let you know, hey, God's not abandoning you. He's not forsaking you. He's just trying to uh, redirect you and renew your mind to think God's thoughts and to experience the freedom and the goals that you want in life. 
So those are a few things I have to say about it. But I think it's a dynamic book. And I'm honored the fact that you will not even read it and say some positive things about it. <laughs> oh, read it, no, read it, endorse it, promote it. And like I said, when you give us time, you're going to come back and teach, take the whole time and teach on it. And, uh, and yes. as a matter of fact, like I said, we've got some other things that we're going to be doing, man. And so, um, but, but, but again, <laughs> as Les was speaking and he said about, you got to get your mind right. And I kept saying, man, that's what this <laughs> think right, live right. Matter of fact, I'll, I've been preaching for years. You can't, you can't think wrong and live right. And that's what the problem has been with folks. <laughs> yeah. book. And, and I'm telling you something, Doc. I've read a lot of different books. Of course, I'm writing a book now on the mind. But, but this, your book has taken, I think, everything else I've ever read to a whole other dimension, uh, as you mentioned, because of the, the, the pieces that you put together. And that's when Dr. Haywood called me. That's what he said. He said, no, this is so unique, Doc. And, of course, whenever Dr. Haywood calls me, I'm like, Hey, whatever you say, Doc. I, you, know, you, you just say, and, and I believe I'm, I'm in, man. I'm in. So, thank you, Doctor Tim and Amanda. Please give us a date thank if you, you come back. We give you this whole time. In the meantime, folks, the uh, book "Think Right, Live Right: A 21 Day Plan to Overcome Negative Thoughts" by Doctor Paul Chipman. Paul Chipman. Yes, it's available on M-A-N. Amazon.com. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they can get it yes, on yes, Amazon.com. Yes. Thank you, Doctor Stan, and all those who are listening. Oh, yes, I will. I will, I I will get in touch with you. Hey, when we get done working together, man, it's going to be available inside Shop Free Mart too. So that okay. <laughs> we go. We go. Right. We go. We go work with <laughs> things, brother. All righty. Uh, okay, God bless you. And thank you, man. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you, and Doctor Hayward. Thank you. And by the way, folks, Wayman, do, do you? Do you understand if, if you were Dr. Haywood Robinson right now, how good would you feel that you made a connection that created a win-win-win scenario? And this is what happens when you, when you practice what Les Carter just taught us, when you get people to join Shop Free Mart, but more importantly, when you get them to get on that quick start pack, watch this, my friend, and imagine t- nine weeks from now. Somebody's going to do it in nine days. Somebody may take them nine months, but – but but they made an extra 12000 or whatever it is, my friend, and you're the one that made that connection. You're the one that made the call. you you got to get this, my friend. you got to get this. People are hurting. And some of them, they're pride. They, they, won't, they can't tell you, that, you know. And so, so you're talking. You think maybe, no, they're a little not paying attention. They're distracted because they're so into their problems. So that's why they got to have a book like this, Think Right, Live Right. That's why they got to have the 21-Day Breakthrough Challenge. And that's why they got to also have these products that also, because they're, when you're dehydrated, you go into depression and people don't even understand mm-hmm. that, my friend. They just don't understand. So we've got a solution and uh, we need to get this out. The bear, I like to say, uh, be gossipers of good news, right? And just get out there and tell them. The <laughs> so, hey, well, thank you again, Dr. Chip. Right. Get me a date ASAP, man. Give me a couple days, we'll as a matter of fact, because I know you got a bunch of you. We're going to pull it out, okay? And uh, thank right. you very much, and we'll be contacting yeah, you. Uh, all righty. Okay, and Les, again, thank Les you. Carter, man, I'm just going to tell you, you, you did your Heavenly Father proud, man, and uh, thank you very much. What a powerful presentation. Powerful, powerful, powerful. And look how God connected and had Dr. Chipman chime in today, the day that you were speaking, and those, those two went hand-in-hand together as a glove. That's how my God works.